Are you looking for a bus build? Maybe the color you like, maybe you wanted it to be an automatic, maybe you want a camper, reach out. This one behind me, we are building for a customer, uh, Kimberly's bus. Uh, you're gonna wanna see this one is done. It's gonna be really cool. Uh, I can't wait to drive it. I've driven it a little bit already. We currently have a rebuilt motor in it, all new brakes, um, the electrical. We are um, doing body and paint next. It's going to be an incredibly awesome, badass color that I can't wait to share with everyone. I can't wait to drive it myself. Um, it's going to be beautiful. So if you are looking for a bus, you want it built the way you want it, please reach out. We can't do that for you. We do somewhat specialize in automatic buses. We have a handful of them. I know a lot of people want automatic, so we are the guys to check out and ask. This one's going to be coming together real soon. Bus built, reach out. So far currently on this, we have done a rebuilt motor, messed with all the electrical, repaired what needed to be repaired. We are tinkering with the horn at the moment. It's on its way to body next. Matter of fact, it's going to body today because the customer requested a very cool, awesome, unique color that I have never done yet, but I'm excited to do it. And we will do some cleanup of the interior as well. Uh, you're going to want to see it when it's done. It's going to be very nice. Like I said, the motor's rebuilt. It is an automatic bus. That's what the customer requested. If you are looking for a bus, whether it's a camper or an automatic or any kind of bus, project or restored, reach out. We can build it for you.
What's up guys? I'm driving in the 1973 Pastel Pink. Pastel Pink automatic VW bus. It's an automatic transmission, so you won't see me shifting any gears. I've got one hand holding the phone out the window and the other hand on the steering wheel. So something that is hard to do with a manual transmission bus. It's an automatic pastel pink. And it is just about ready guys. If you're interested in a bus, if you're interested in one that's like neon green or uh, all black, whatever it is, reach out. Do it for you. So uh, thanks for uh, following. Thanks for enjoying all the content. This morning I drove in the orange bus, the 79 automatic that we have. It's a customer's bus. We're doing a little tweaking to the to the starting of it. It starts just fine. There's zero problem with it starting. But I'm trying to make it easier for them so that you just turn the key and then boom, it fires up and that's it. Like, like if you're a noob of starting a bus, like that bus you'll be able to start. Because so I've, I've had zero problem with it until they told me that, oh, it's kind of hard to start. So, all right, let's figure this out. So, I drove that one in today, and, uh, oh, it's such a pleasure to drive. Anyway, now I'm in this one, King Pastel, guys. And I'm just driving, I'm doing some errands. Uh, I like to take the buses out when I'm like, I gotta go to the bank, grab some lunch, um, whatever. That doesn't involve me needing my actual car like a truck, move some stuff around, whatever. If I can cruise the bus, I will. Anyway, neither here nor there. I'm just simply saying like what I'm doing right now. I'm in the King Pascal bus and I'm cruising. I put uh, some gas in it. Um, gotta get a lot of driving in it because uh, this bus is gonna be picked up this weekend. So this coming weekend, this bus is gone. Um, I super duper hope that the weather clears up a little bit right now it's like so gloomy so so gloomy out here I'm in Southern California I'm uh, in Orange County I'm like uh, 10 minutes 15 minutes at most to the beach you know like Huntington Beach and all that it's just gloomy man but I want it to go away and uh, if it does this week, hopefully this week before Saturday, I want to take this bus to the beach, man. Can you imagine this bus, like, photos by the beach? It's like, beautiful water, beautiful sky. And then this beautiful bus, this, like, pastel pink bus, just like, ooh. So we'll see, man. I've got
got, I only have, today's Monday, I've got a couple more days, and if it doesn't, the sun doesn't kind of come out, there's really no point in going, it'll be so gloomy, it wouldn't even look right, but I'd love to get some photos out there with this bus. Yeah, so getting picked up Saturday, also why I'm driving it, uh, I like to drive them as much as I can. Man, with these old buses, it's like almost sometimes like the more you drive it, the more you're gonna like find something wrong. It's kind of, it's a it's a good and a bad thing because for one, I don't want to hand a bus off to a buyer customer and immediately something happens. Like that's the last thing I want. Nobody wants that. So I'm, I drive them, you know, to be like, oh, okay, like this one for example. I'm driving it and I'm like, hey, you know what? The steering feels a little bit. It feels loose, looser than it should. It shouldn't feel like that. And I've driven hundreds of buses. I, I know how it should. So it shouldn't. It shouldn't feel that way. So um, oh, there's no parking. Um, so I'm like, yeah, hey, I shouldn't feel that way. So I took it in, have them have them repair it, and here we are again. I'm driving it again, and everything's feeling good. Everything feels good. So, uh, it's ready to go, but that's why I want to keep driving it. So I drive it, the more I drive it, you know, you, you gain more confidence. You're like, oh yeah, that, that's that's good. That's a good bus right there. And then when you, if you do happen to feel something that's a little off, you take it in and fix it. And then, you know, you gotta give them the best that you can give them, you know? And that's where my expertise comes in because I've driven like hundreds and hundreds of buses. So I know when one doesn't feel right. So that's kind of where I, where I shine. Anyway.